Today I've got Olight's new thrower, the Warrior X Turbo. This is capable of 1,000 meters of throw at 1,100 lumens and 25,000 candela. It's got a Osram LED and it's got this bigger head here as you can see. And it's got that tactical tail cap we saw on my last Olight review. Thanks to Skybin for sending this to me. Make sure to check out their link in the description below. And while you're there, check out my social media pages and follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you're not already. I try to post deals on both those from time to time when I get them and new models and things like that. I think you'll enjoy it. And while you're here on YouTube, I appreciate hitting that subscribe button and clicking that bell icon if you haven't already. Now let's get into the review. I won't go into much detail on the packaging here, but the Warrior X Turbo has great packaging. Arguably Olight has some of the nicest packaging in the production flashlight world. It's a box that folds out here, it's magnetic. You've got a nice Olight uh, thank you in the inside lid there. Then you've got all the accessories that the light comes with, but in this box you get the charger, you get this TG ring, the lanyard, and then a manual. On the back, you it's full of features and specifications, and the light does have a five-year warranty. I've got the black model of light here, but it does come as a gunmetal gray as well. With the base package, the light comes with the flashlight itself. You've got this Olight 5000 milliamp hour 21700 proprietary battery, charging system, this TGR grip, ring, a lanyard, and a holster here we'll talk about more here in a minute. The construction here, the light takes a lot of design cues from the Olight M2R Pro here that I've got in front of me. You can see the body sections are very, very similar overall in design characteristics, and the tails are pretty similar too. You do have this tri-lug tail with the center button in the middle there, and this model does feature the tail cap that locks on for the remote pressure switch for the Olight Odin. They both work here, so right now I've got it in and locked in and it's really solid. Inside there you've got a spring that is all self-contained, so that is springy, very similar to what the Odin had. Then you've got some nicely greased threads in there, which I won't touch, a double O-ring system, and I'll talk more about the that in the mounting. A uh, not very deep carry pocket clip on the body. You've got this nice triangle grip that's milled in here. You've got two flats for labeling purposes. And then from there, the light really grows in diameter. It is glued, so you can't unscrew it. I like these nice reliefs that are cut in here just for a bit of style and a place to hold it works pretty well to like put your thumb I think. Then you've got this bezel here which is kind of beefy. It's nicely done, nicely machined, very nicely anodized and shiny. It does unscrew so it's not glued in place but it does take some effort to get that off. You've got that large anti-reflective coated lens in there and the reflector is smooth and deep and then you've got the small LED there in the center. I measured the length of the Olight Warrior X at 159 millimeters. Maximum diameter at the head here was 58 millimeters. Minimum diameter in the body was 26. Uh, weight with the battery clip and standard anti-roll ring, which I've got installed now, came in at 296.1 gram. And here are a few pictures of the light with similarly sized lights that you might know. So you've got a couple options with retention and grip here. It does come with this captured pocket clip. And by that, I mean it doesn't push or rotate at all. It's fixed in this position. And I'll show you why that is in a minute. You've got this anti-roll ring here. This is a pretty standard on a lot of flashlights. It's also got a place for a lanyard attachment there that you can put on. This allows you to grip from the sides and do kind of that cigar, famous cigar grip there no problem. And how that pocket clip works is when you take the tail off and this next ring off, you've got a captured clip here. It just pulls off, but it's got that little nub that you can see it fits in there. That allows it to fit and not roll or anything like that. If you are going to be using this light a lot in that type of tactical grip, Olight does offer the silicon soft grip. They call it the TGR. It's called the tactical grip ring and you can swap in in place, and that just makes it a little bit more comfortable to use the light that way. Your last retention option here is the nice nylon holster. It's got some padding, it's rigid, and the light goes in here just like that, no problem, and then snaps in place. On the back, you've got a D-ring and a Velcro belt loop to attach it to your pants. This looks 
pretty nicely high quality made and uh, no complaints there. It is not branded Olight. Olight doesn't say exactly which LED is in this light officially, but they do list a tint at 6,000 to 6,700 Kelvin. And by looking at the LED, my guess it's one of the OSRAM models we've seen in other popular throwers like that Ace Beam L17 that I reviewed a few weeks ago. I'll have a link for that if you haven't seen that video. Please check it out. It's an awesome light. I wish they'd list the LED that was in use here like almost every other manufacturer does, but Olight's getting into that trend where they just don't say anything. So I can tell you is this has a cool tint, but it's not overly blue. What I can tell you about the beam here is that it's got an intense hot spot and we can see it's got just very little spill if I move my light around. So throws great and we'll see that in my night shot. Here are my night shots for the Olight Warrior Turbo. And as you can see here, it's kind of misting out and this is as good as we're gonna get right now. My normal night shot place is just way too muddy to get into and will be for the next couple days. But we can see on the tree over here, we've got a thrower light with a pretty small um, hot spot and really not much spill but we can see it lights up across the street no problem this thing's capable up to a thousand meters and this is in the low mode if i go to the full 1100 lumens we can see it really lights up a tight spot this is designed to go on to a weapon if you want it to you can see it's got some spill too if i if i go up you can see that spill on the fence below there so this does what it's intended to pretty well anything short range you'll get that spill anything long range you'll get that hot spot i got the original olight warrior x here and we can see it's got a broader beam more hot the hot spot is larger and the spill is larger as well it's lighting up the whole neighbor's backyard too but we can see it doesn't go quite as far and it's also a warmer tint than the new turbo very different beam characteristics um, between these two lights and then i've got a astrolux fto3 here it's in more of a neutral white tint and we can see it's kind of a combination of the two it throws it's got that nice hot center but uh, you've got more spill then fairly similar here but not quite as tight so this is the astrolux fto3 and the olight warrior turbo there is some distortion in the outer corona of the light and that's due to this bezel. And that's one other thing about this bezel here is, is it does allow light to leak out when the light is on and allow you to find it. And that's something a lot of people really like to see. I did not measure any PWM on this light in either the low or the high mode. Olight does list the uh, brightness here at a thousand lumens on the high mode and 150 lumens on low. And uh, high does step down, but which you'll get to in a minute. It's rated for a thousand meters a throw and 250,000 candela in that high mode. It is IPX8 water rated. The ability of the Olight Warrior X Turbo to sustain its turbo output was better than I expected. From a start to full and stable step down was right at nine minutes and it stayed above 80% relative output for the first six minutes. At that point, it was running at about 50% relative output for an hour 45 and total runtime was just shy of three hours. Olight officially says the steps are 1100 lumens, 600 lumens, 300 lumens, and 150. The good news is here with such a tight beam pattern, even the lower outputs throw really well when the power level reaches 20 percent the light starts to vibrate and uh, it'll vibrate every five minutes to let you know when it's the battery's uh, draining out and below 10 percent it'll vibrate every minute and below five percent it'll vibrate every 10 seconds you can't miss it especially if it's mounted on a firearm you'll feel it and the maximum heat i saw was 48 c at the nine minute mark and that's warm but uh, since this is kind of designed to be a weapon light, you're probably not gonna be touching it. And when you're holding it in your hand, you can always grip back here and it's not that big an issue. So UI here on the Warrior X Turbo is super easy. It's a two mode light with a momentary and full on tactical switch. So low is rated for 150 lumens. To get that, just half press on. And if you wanna, that's in momentary. And if you wanna full um, lock it on, you just a quick uh, single press there. Uh, I guess I should call it a quick half press and it stays on. If you want to go to full power, a full press and off quick gives you full power. And if you want full momentary, just press and hold. There's no strobe on here or anything like that. The only other thing I'd say about the UI is you do have that option for that uh, tail cap pressure switch and then the light works on full power all the time. Recharging here is accomplished with Olight's MCC charging system. This is the latest version that Olight has, and you can tell that with the red insides. As I turn my power bank on here, around here turns green, 
and all you do to charge it is you snap it on and it magnetically connects and this will turn red when charging. My light here happens to be full so it's still green. And I had a little bit of trouble recording the graph of the Warrior X Turbo with my equipment due to its spikes along the curve where the current drops to near zero which tricks my measuring tool into the uh, shortening the overall charge time but uh, I did it old school and I came up with five hours and 30 minutes with the maximum charge rate I saw was 1.92 amps. I have no concerns with the charging here but I'll have to look for a firmware update to uh, help my equipment. So for me the pros are it's got a long run time for tur with turbo lasting nearly 10 minutes. It's got great Olight build quality. Despite being a cool white it's not an obnoxious blue tint and uh, there are options to mount carry and activate this light even if you're using it as a weapon light or hand holding it. My cons are that uh, tail magnet is only strong enough for the pressure switch. It's not strong enough to hold the weight of the light in a horizontal position. It will hang vertically from the magnet but that's about it. You've got that proprietary battery in there. It's just not my favorite. It's a little bit on the pricey side and two modes are okay here but I think three might make it a little bit more useful if you're going to use it for anything other than a weapon light. My conclusion is the Warrior X Turbo is a nice compact thrower for Molite. It's almost as much power as the larger Javelot Pro here as you can see but it's a lot smaller in size and I like that. This makes the Warrior X Turbo easier to carry on your person and you'll probably use it more often. While designed as a weapon light with the compatibility of that remote pressure switch and to be able to mount it on a weapon with the optional mount it works pretty well as a it also works pretty well as a super easy main thrower if you don't have one. To me the six to eight minute runtime on turbo is hard to beat in many other thrower style lights in this price category. It's an O-Light so it has its usual caveats like the proprietary battery and color of tints being cool white only pretty much. So if you're less sensitive to those I can recommend the Warrior X Turbo. It's a pretty sweet well-built thrower. Hey guys if you've got a Warrior X Turbo let me know what you think of it in the comments below and if you've got any questions I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. I always appreciate you guys liking these videos, subscribing to the channel, sharing it with your friends and all that stuff. So I'll make sure to catch you on the next review soon.